Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show, and it is another instalment of the Daily Leads, bringing you all the Leeds United news every day, all day. So before we get into the video, we've got loads to get through today. Please smash a like on the stream. Let's see if we can get to, say, 500 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 3K. There's over 50% of you that are watching these videos that aren't subscribed, so please do me a solid and subscribe to the channel. Get your comments in, and please get that notification bell smashed so you know when videos are dropping. They'll be... The top flight news by dropping tonight at seven, and we may well be doing a watch along of the Europa League final between Manchester United and Villarreal. Come on, Villarreal, and let's get into the video. Peace. You heard it right. It's going to be just Joe, and it's going to be all about football. He showed the same. Van Fruit, it's in! Yes! Yes! I've not seen many more appearances from Pablo. Fantastic inaugural guest. I have to pull out the big guns. So guys, loads of news to bring you today. Of course, Leeds are reported to be closing in on their first signing of the summer. Stad Brest defender Roman Parade, a left back as we know, and he could be well on his way to Leeds United. Apparently though, guys, there is competition um, for his signature. Apparently Everton may be sniffing around him as well, which is which is a new one. Um, with me that I that I've seen, but look, the 23 year old claimed three goals and seven assists from 36 appearances for a struggling breast side this season. Um, he he's revealed, you know, or, or it's been revealed that he's been a target for Leeds way back in February. He's enjoyed a brilliant season with Breast. Um, and as I say, he helped the club narrowly avoid relegation from League 1. He's not going to have to do that, you know, this season or, or next season with Leeds United. We're going to be climbing for that, <laughs> them European spots. I, I, I do believe that, you know. Um, and as I say, he, he's got three goals and, and seven assists from 36 appearances. He is contracted until Brest till 2025. Uh, he's expected to cost in the region of around 20 million euros, which works out to be about 17.2 million. Listen, the last time we spent 17 million on a player, we know how that works out, i.e. Rafinha, Lorente, absolute stalwarts of this Leeds United side this season. Football pundit Noel Whelan has, has weighed in on it as well and said, look, he believes it would be an ideal signing for Leeds United. He would pit, fit perfectly into the side, um, as I say, as the as reports are coming out that we're in discussions with him. But as I say, Everton are also apparently keen on um, on parade, which, again, guys, I know Leeds United are a huge club. They are, we've got Bielsa. Everton are a huge club. They've got Carlo Ancelotti. Yes, we finished higher in the season, but, you know... It, we have to be realistic, so he may choose Everton, you know. He may look at Everton and think they have better prospects next season. I don't know how he would come to that decision, but you never know. So, apparently Everton are looking at him as well. But Leeds United have had an interest in him since February, so hopefully we can get that done. Some other big, big news for me yesterday coming out was the fact that Barry Fry... Uh, Peterborough United chairman, obviously the posh got promoted this season from League One into the Championship. He's revealed that the Whites uh, have actually approached them for a swap deal for Alfie McCalmon and an unnamed Peterborough player. Don't know who this player is. I don't know much about Posh or what they've done this season. I know they've been promoted, as I say, with Alex Ferguson's son still in charge. I mean, he's honestly, that guy spent so much time at that club. If you know any of these prospective players that apparently we've included in this swap deal, Barry Fry's turned around and said, we've turned it down flat, which is quite interesting. Because as I say, I'm a Calmon, who, by the way, guys, has also been called up with Stuart Dallas to the Northern Ireland squad um, recently for their friendlies. Admittedly, he's going to have limited opportunities at Ellen Road. He's had a great, successful season at Oldham in the last 12 months. He made 35 appearances in League Two, scored eight goals and registered five assists. Um, he also got goals in the Football League trophy during his loan with the Latics. I, I'm not surprised to see that we might be moving him on. I think Gotts might be in that same racket, Edmondson, etc. There's, you know, Jordan Stevens, but... I'm really interested that apparently we've, and Barry Fry's not going to lie, there's no reason, it is true, you know, Alfie McCallum has, you know, been offered to them in a swap deal. What interests me though, who is this posh player, who is this Peterborough player that Leeds United have asked to do a swap deal with? We don't know, but it means that obviously Alfie McCallum's time at Leeds United 
may well be up. And I think it, it, it looks that way. That's why we've sent these players out on loan. We know that if Bielsa thought they'd be close to the first team, he likes to keep them at the club. So when you do get sent out on loan, it probably does set alarm bells ringing. But these lads just want to play football. You know, I spoke to Robbie before. He just wants to play football. He'll be happy. I'll feel be the same, especially having been out on loan at a League Two club, getting it, having a great season, scoring goals, getting assists. He'll just want to play. I do think he will make the leap from League Two into the championship at, at the least, you know. Um, and it's quite interesting to see that Peter have actually turned it down because I think he's a fantastic prospect. But I suppose the player that we've offered to swap is obviously, in their eyes, a much better prospect than what Alfie is. So, guys, if anyone knows who this player might be, let me know in the comments. But it's a really interesting one, that. Um, also, guys, a bit of an update on Noah Lang. Um, he, he's offered no guarantees on his club Bruce future mid-transfer links with Leeds United. We've spoke about him a few times. He said, look, I can't promise anything. I don't know what's going to happen this summer. If I stay, it will be all my love. But let's not forget Noah Lang was videoed the other day singing anti-Semitic chants. So me as a Leeds United fan, I'm saying... Yeah, let's stay away from that. That's just my personal opinion, you know. Um, and I think that could scupper any perspective deal. But, you know, from his end, he has told Club Club Rouge fans, you know, that I don't know what's going to happen in the summer and I can't promise anything. So it, it feels a bit like a come and get me plea. Um, big shout out to Legion United prospect Niall Huggins. He's earned a call up to the Wales under-21s team. So congratulations for that. And of course, Rodrigo Moreno has been nominated for May's Premier League Player of the Month award. Please do go get voting. We know Leeds United do excellent in um, in these sort of polls on Twitter. Bielsa won the match of the day, manager of the year. Hopefully, Rodrigo gets the player of the year as well. I know a lot of FIFA fans vote for that as well because you get a player of the month card. And we all know Rodrigo is a great FIFA player. So um, maybe he'll win it because of that as well because they all want his uh, player of the month card. But if you're a Leeds United fan, go vote for Rodrigo Moreno. As I said earlier, McCallum has joined Stuart Dallas in the Northern Ireland squad. And guys, Leeds United four parts redevelopment has taken shape and starts to take shape as we turn towards pre season. Look, we, Premier League's finished what three days ago, but development work is already underway on Leeds United's next four part project with pre season a little, a little over one month away. Just one month is madness, you know. We've got the, uh, the European Championship on the 11th. I cannot wait for that. There'll be loads of content from my end over the Euros, so please keep it locked at the Just Joe Football Show. Um, but that was your, your daily leads today. Plenty of news in there, updates on Parade. Let me know if you see that one being done. Can Will he choose us over Everton? Obviously, Noah Lang. Would you want to see that guy come to the club after his anti-Semitic chance? I would hope not. You know, we've had... The issues that we had with Kiko, you know, and we know how the fans feel about that. So I'm not sure we'd uh, we'd be happy with Noah Lang coming in. And also Alfie McCalmon, again, it's it's a, it's a real interesting one, that the fact that we've offered him in a swap deal for a, a, an unknown player. Anyone who knows anything about, um, you know, Peterborough, sorry, I don't. <laughs> um, but if you do and you have an inkling who that player might be, then let me know in the comments. And if, I, if we do some dip stuff on that, maybe we can do a piece on their player as well. But thank you as always for watching the Daily Leagues. Keep it locked to the Just Joe Football Show. I'll have your daily Prem Roundup dropping at around 7pm tonight. Um, the top flight news by as I've coined it. And of course, we may do a watch along for Manchester United versus Villarreal. Please subscribe to the channel, comment, notification bell on. All that jazz, and I'll see you in a bit. Lizzie Zeitz!